Hello and welcome back to the channel. You've joined me again for another clinical skills video. And Bob is going to be an important part of this video. So we've already done the video on how to do uh, the subacromial injections going from the posterior approach and also looking at how to inject the acromioclavicular joint. But we're going to go through with Bob some of the anatomy so you can actually visualize where we're um, um, putting the needles and why we might be, say for example, the subacromial um, injection, having that approach where we're going uh, superiorly anteriorly and ever so slightly medially when we put the needle in, so hopefully avoiding structures underneath it. With that in mind, Bob, let's get you your close-up. When it comes to performing uh, surgical procedures such as a joint injection, we obviously need to know why we're doing it. So if we're going to do a subacromial injection, that's often due to rotator cuff pathology, uh, issues with the glenohumeral joint itself, so for example a frozen shoulder, and potentially issues where we've got a, an impingement syndrome where um, perhaps the um, supraspinatus tendon is being caught under the acromion. By infiltrating a local anaesthetic and a steroid, it can hopefully reduce inflammation in this area, both minimise the pain to that movement, but also actually increase the level of movement that the patient is able to uh, go through. So understanding that, I think, is key to your intention. And I think it helps an awful lot then when you're actually performing the procedure. You know why you're doing it, you understand the movements that you're hoping to improve, and thus where your needle is going to be targeting. Let's have a look at it um, in reality. Bob here has very kindly allowed us to borrow his shoulder to demonstrate how we'd approach uh, an injection from the posterior. So we find the acromion and we're wanting to come about three centimetres down and about one centimetre laterally. I often find it useful to actually visualise the anatomy for procedures such as this. We've got a 21 uh, gauge needle here. With the bevel of the needle pointing upwards, we're going to target the coracoid process. So that's going to mean moving anteriorly, moving superiorly and moving medially. So we don't have any risk of going down and actually hitting the uh, gleno uh, glenohumeral head. As we do so, we're going in about three centimeters. We're going to pause and attempt to aspirate, making sure that we've not got any blood in the syringe, at which point we're going to infiltrate our um, anesthetic and steroid. We're then going to pull back and we're going to apply pressure over the area. Okay, so in terms of the start, so we're going to feel along the acromion uh, to the, um, uh, the angle, and then we're going to come down three centimeters and we're coming laterally by one. And we're going to put a dot on the shoulder just using the closed uh, uh, tip of the um, syringe. And then this is a no-touch technique. So we're starting from the center outwards. And then we're coming with the second uh, alcohol swab and centrally all the way out. Okay. So taking off the uh, cap of the syringe, and I'm going to proceed in. At this point, I'm going to uh, aspirate backwards, making sure that there's no blood. And if there's no blood, then I'm going to introduce the Depomedrone into the shoulder. So in terms of the approach, I'm going uh, towards the coracoid process. So I'm going anteriorly, I'm going superiorly, and ever so slightly medially. That way we're not going to hit any of the structures. Again, just aspirating to make sure we're not in a blood vessel and then infiltrating the whole uh, volume. Coming out again, disposing of uh, the uh, sharp, and we're covering uh, any uh, areas of bleeding and putting a plaster over it. The acromioclavicular joint is particularly prone to arthritis and is a common site for um, steroid injections. As a result, we want to press along the bony landmark of the clavicle until we find the uh, gap between the clavicle and the acromion. At which point, we're going to take our needle and we are going to, uh, with bevel facing downwards, we're going to proceed inferiorly and slightly posteriorly until we hit resistance. We're not going to go any further than that. 
at which point we want to pull back on the needle and make sure that we haven't got any blood, at which point we're going to infiltrate into the joint. It's possible that when we're infiltrating here, because it's such a small area, that it may require a little bit more um, pressure on the plunger to inject than we might see when we're doing a subacromial injection. Well, I hope that was a useful overview on um, the, uh, the structures and the anatomy that we're going to be looking at with regard to uh, shoulder injections. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, leave them down below, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.